the end of it all. Boom. You can't even tell that's beef liver. You would have thought that's steak. Let's dive into this. Beef liver, flour, steak seasoning, garlic powder, shake that all up. Vegetable oil is getting really hot. So first stage of the beef liver is done. Then we're gonna get our onions, our onions going. A little bit of adobo over that. Get that extra spice in there. About five minutes for, three to five minutes for the onions. And the onions and the seasoning is really crucial when making beef liver because you don't really want to be tasting that metallic taste. So stir constantly so you don't cause burning on your, your onions. We're over to a secondary frying pan. Add one fourth of water. About right there. Okay, you got the water up in there, one fourth. Reduce your heat to low. Timer, about eight minutes. Let that steam out, let it all extract. Boom. When it's thin, kill two birds with one stone. Wipe down any excess grease that's splattered. You got the kitchen cleaned, dishes cleaned, boom. All you gotta do is enjoy your meal. Chefs can multitask, all right? So don't be afraid, set a timer, boom, bada bing. Let's go. See? That's the finished product right there. We're gonna consume that right now. Take that out, boom. Beautiful sunrise we got going on. And let's check that out very quick. So, about to dive up into that. As you can already see, it's cooked phenomenally. Mm. Mm. Very little on the metallic taste. You're still gonna get that metallic taste. Remember, this is high in vitamin A, all right? If you apply your seasonings correctly, if you apply the grilled sauteed onions, oh my God, it's definitely gonna take all that, because um, I've ate this like without any seasoning and anything like that, it's not good. But, hmm. Let me finish this. Core water. We're about to finish the rest of all this. And if you want to really remove the metallic taste fully, some pickled green beans. Oh my goodness. 